Hyperspectral imaging is clearly one of the most powerful imaging methods for plant phenotyping. In hyperspectral imaging, every single pixel consists of an array of values corresponding with the reflectance, emission or transmission at a certain wavelength. Hyperspectral imaging allows for measuring plant features like dry matter content, nitrogen status or the concentration of compounds like sugar, lycopene or chlorophyll. In Wageningen, we employ a hyperspectral imaging setup for scanning plants or plant parts, such as fruits. This setup is capable of scanning the side or the top of plants in the visible and near infrared range from 400 to 1,700 nanometer. The setup uses two imaging spectrographs, the first one from 400 to 1000 nanometer, the second one from 1000 to 1700 nanometer. The spectrographs are coupled to monochrome matrix cameras. One dimension of the camera, spatial axis, records the line pixels and the other dimension, spectral axis, the spectral information for each pixel. A complete spectral image is a three-dimensional XY wavelength array. To acquire this image, the spectrograph is translated in small steps, so that at each step, an X wavelength slice is measured. This is repeated until the whole object has been scanned. Illumination is very important in hyperspectral imaging applications, since the imaging spectrograph acts as a line scan camera. A fiber optic line lighting device with a cylindrical collimeter lens is used for top imaging. The spectral power distribution of the lamp is an important factor. Our tungsten halogen light sources give a smooth and stable emission spectrum over the whole spectral range. We need to calibrate the system using black and white reference image. The black image is captured while closing the lens cap. The white reference is a standard white object with constant reflection over the whole spectral range. Custom-made software, named Isaac, is developed to control the hyperspectral scanning. This software is flexible and supports different stepper tables and cameras. To scan a full spectral image, the exposure time and wavelength range are set. The acquired spectral image is displayed on the screen. Using the slider, we can step through the different wavelengths. By clicking on the image, the corresponding spectrum of the pixel is displayed and can be compared to the spectra at other positions. A pseudo-colour image can be displayed by mapping parts of the wavelength range to the red, green and blue channel. This way, spectral differences can be visually enhanced. The hyperspectral data cube is saved for further processing. Multivariate methods like partial least squares regression is used to build statistical models. Machine learning techniques are used to segment specific parts in the images such as disease spots. Also, common used indexes like the chlorophyll index or the NDVI can easily be extracted. <laughs> 